Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing um, a look that is based off of Tokyo Hotel, a singer from that band. Um, I think his name is Bill. I didn't really know who this band was before I got about a thousand and twelve requests to do um, this guy's look. So it's really simple. It's just a really, really, really dark, smoky. It's not even really, I mean, it's just dark black look. Um, I personally don't like the way it looks on me. I kinda look, it's like too dark for my, for me. I don't, for my taste. Um, so, but this is basically what he does. And, um, you'll see it's two, it's mainly two colors, an eyeliner and then a highlight color. It's very simple. I use three brushes. Everything's easy about it. But if you do do it too dark, like this isn't working for me, I'm just gonna take a light gray and just kind of go over it. I'm going to take my blending brush, blend it out. It should be at the end, but it's not. See, so then that, that makes it lighter and more wearable. So if you do end up going too dark, just taking a lighter color of what you're working with, it's a good way to soften it up for your skin. See, that looks much better on me much better and I just added a little thing. That should be at the end but it's not. It's right now. So this is very easy. It's like six minutes I think or so. Simple. I had to do it a second time because my camera decided to be blurry and disgusting so hopefully it doesn't because I really don't want to do it a third time. But that's all. I hope you like it. First thing I'm gonna do is just take a dark eyeliner. This is the Phone Me Text Me duo from Heatherette from MAC. So just a dark creamy eyeliner. This isn't the blackest black but it's pretty dark. So I'm just going to take that and just make a really messy line, not too high up, that's that's about as high as we need it, and then I'll pull it underneath as well, just like that, not all the way underneath, but that's basically the shape you want. Next I'm going to take a Taclon brush, so just a stiff brush, and blend that out and up. So that it's just a really faded, almost gray. I mean, you can even you can even use your finger for this if you want. So you'll get about that, and then do that underneath. Underneath is probably easier with your finger, anyways. Make sure that edges are nice and blended out as well. Next up I'm going to use my 88 palette. Um, I broke it a little bit, but I'm going to be using these two dark colors for that. So I'm just going to use a regular eyeshadow brush. Just an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take that lighter black, it's like a soft dark 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 gray black color that right on my lid just like that not too high you don't want to go too high because then you'll get too much and it'll look like someone punched you in the face rather than wearing makeup so I can get a, a blending brush like this and just go over that and blend it out but you want to cover all of the eyeliner you used otherwise it may crease just like you want to set your foundation so just blending that out and this way you don't want to use too much either less is more okay so then you have this and I'm just going to take a little bit just press lightly with the same brush into that dark black which would be like max carbon just matte black and put that right in the outer corners and then also underneath your eyes. I always like to make sure that this out, outer corner usually gets neglected so I like to round it out. Okay, So that's going to be your general shape. You don't want to go much higher than your crease. Just kind of like this and then I'm going to take another clean brush and get a highlight color and put that on my brow bone and kind of let it touch just 
the highest part of that black just to kind of have it fade out nicely underneath too just to make this match I'm just gonna add a little bit more up so it matches the other eye very lightly for this part you don't want to go too close you kind of want to hold your brush towards the outer the back because then it gives you less control and that's what you want because you kind of want the brush to do the work and not you so hold it farther back and that'll give you less control and it'll blend it nice um, nicer I took off part of my eyebrow Doo -doo -doo. okay and then next would be to add um, eyeliner since I had to redo this I already have eyeliner on and mascara Ouch. that's the thing with these heatherette ones since they're so creamy they go quick and you have to sharpen them a lot Ooh, and I get black all over because it smudges and it's all over my fingers that's hot then after I do that I like to just take um, foundation powder whatever and just go under my eyes or do your foundation last that's probably ideal but I I'm breaking the rules. Okay, and then next I'm just going to take that same highlight color that I used and just dot a little bit right in the inside corners just to kind of give a subtle highlight. And it'll make me seem like my eyes are more open and awake without taking away all the darkness of this look. So then for the lips, He's just got, um, in all the looks I saw, he just had a really neutral kind of lip color on. So I'm going to use Bare Slim Shine from MAC. I feel like I could, ugh, I just use this color so much. But these are like a lip gloss and a lipstick in one. So you get that shine and the lipstick color. This is like exactly the color that he's wearing in the picture that I'm going off of for this. But what is that, four minutes, six minutes, less? I mean, nothing on the cheeks. This is a really simple look. You just need like three eyeshadow colors, an eyeliner, mascara, and like two brushes, two or three brushes. So that's about it. Hopefully this wasn't blurry like the last one. And I'll talk to you soon.